Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BU4U Gaming and today we are gonna play Grey Skies Dark Waters. So this is a story-driven adventure click and point game that was released on the 9th of June 2017 by Green Willow Games uh, and uh, it's a uh, Apparently similar to Life is Strange, another game I need to play through, uh, but I bet a lot of you guys would have heard about that game, at least if you haven't already played it. And uh, part of what it says on Steam about this game is, what does it mean to truly disappear without a trace? This modern interpretation of centuries-old folk tales drops you into a world of secrets unanswered questions and, just maybe, the supernatural. Search to reveal the truth, or at least your version of it. And yeah, it does say, it does say a little bit more uh, on the Steam page, but yeah, if you want to know, uh, then you can always go and uh, read up about it yourself. Uh, it says a little bit more about what the game is about. But I just want to jump straight into it and uh, try it out. And uh, well, I just noticed one thing because I just started up the game and I was like, stories, are there a story mode? I thought the entire game was a story mode. But there is something like this. There's actually little stories. You can see these three. Uh, from the antipodes to here, so apparently there's some stories you can read. Um, so that's definitely something I'm gonna do later, but uh, right now I don't know if you're supposed to read them before or after, but I'm gonna read them after I've played the game. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that on camera, if you want to read those you'll have to uh, yeah, buy the game. Um, so, let's go ahead. What happened to Vivian Garrett after she disappeared from her comfortable four-bedroom home the night of January 1st? For residents of Avitt's Landing, a small town that nestles up on the Chesapeake Bay and was once the home of Vivian Garrett, the answer is still unclear. One year ago today, Garrett vanished, baffling family members and both local and state police. She said nothing to her children or her husband. Friends say she didn't seem unhappy or panicked. In the media circus that followed in the wake of the investigation, reporters never uncovered a secret lover or a desire to leave her family, but no conclusive physical evidence was ever found. The investigation began on January 4th of the previous year, when a family member alerted police that Garrett had not been seen for three days. Her car, a blue 2005 Nissan Altima, was found abandoned in Willow Creek Park two days later. The disappearance was considered suspicious, since Garrett was said to be a dedicated mother to her four children and had no history of erratic behavior. The woman's husband, biology professor Robert Garrett, was originally arrested a month after her disappearance after a breakdown in his office. In statements to the police, he declared that his wife was gone for good and would never come back. Although Mr. Garrett's responses were often muddled and contradictory, he was released without charge. Avid's Landing police declined to respond to questions, saying, At this time, we have no information to add to the investigation. Okay, let's escape to reach the options to adjust volume or subtitles. Achievement mm -hmm. unlocked already. Um, okay. uh, I think let's turn up the speech volume fully. So, uh, I tell you, no, I don't want that. I <clears throat> just wanted to check because I felt like it was a little silent um, speech. Uh, okay, so I'm not really used to playing these types of games, but I guess I have to click something to make her walk. But what the game is about is that we have to figure out, of course, what happened to their mom. Um, okay, so, yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
Holiday greetings. Not from Elijah and Melissa Garrett. Probably what? Longo and Aunt or something? Merry Christmas with love. Thomas Alicia, Mary, Maria, and Toby Garrett. Mm -hmm. It was sweet of my uncles to send Christmas cards. Things have been a little awkward between them and dad ever since dad was arrested. Vi and I went to live with our uncle Thomas. Merle and Gus went with uncle Elijah. We didn't come back until August. I don't think dad really knows how to thank his brothers for taking us in. If only he could remember to pay taxes on time. That is sad, that is mad. The IIS thinks that is bad. Mm. Ugh, no one's cleaned the microwave in ages. How do I let it get like this? <laughs> it happens at times, so don't do that for me. We have too many onions. I should make something with onions before they go bad. Onion soup? Onions and sausage? Just feed everyone straight onions. Mm. It's almost empty. I bet Merle ate them all. Okay, so we need to add cereal to the shopping list. Yeah. Okay, Avon County. County declares bankruptcy. Hmm, okay. A family member alerted police that Garrett hadn't been seen in three days. Yeah, that was me. Oh, I wanted to read it. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, that's actually what we were told. That's what she was really reading earlier. Yeah, the investigation began on January fourth. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so that's what a family member alert. He was reading when we started the game. Okay, so let's see if there's something in the fridge. Last February, I came downstairs one morning and all the photos were gone from the fridge. The one of Merle eating ice cream on her first birthday. The one of all of us on Halloween five years back. The one of mom and crab as a puppy. Like they'd never been there. Mm -hmm. Sounds like dad isn't handling this very well. Well, I don't know if it's he's the one who removed them. Okay. Mom was the worst baker. She nearly burned the house down once because she set the oven to 500 degrees instead of 350. Sometimes I still find black and cookie bits down there. The McFarlands next door used to have a chicken coop. When I'd wash the dishes, I could see the hens pecking in their backyard. Now they've moved. The backyard's empty. The house, too. Violet sings when she washes the dishes. If I'm drying them, then sometimes I'll harmonize. She'll go. Down to the river. And it sounds like... As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way. Dad once told me that he chose this paint color because it was named Anti Establishment in the catalog, which made me wonder can I be a paint maker? Is that a career? <laughs> Okay. See, I think I clicked everything it's inside. Uh, oh, okay. Mom kept an herb garden here. She might have been a terrible cook, but we always had fresh basil for our pasta. And fresh rosemary. And lavender. And mint. Mm -hmm. We never really knew what kind of dog crap was. One of dad's co-workers' dogs had a litter of puppies, and mom got a look at a photo of them. <laughs> well, that was it. Crab came home with us a month later. <laughs> bluebirds aren't very common, but one year we had a bluebird build her nest in our birdhouse. Lady bluebirds aren't blue all over, like the males. They're grayish-orange with little tips of blue on the wings, like gloves. Okay. 
Okay, click on you. See if you can find out something more. This thing is so stuck it won't budge. I'll need something to oil the latch. WD-40 maybe? Maybe Dad has ideas where the WD-840 is. Unsticking the gate has been added to Lena's to-do list. Press escape to view the... Ah, okay. So... Unstick the gate. Okay. Hmm. So... Wouldn't that be something we would find inside? Unless a dad works in a shop or something? Thank you. Oh, I don't know if he does. Uh... We have too many on. Nope. Oh, walk to living room. Okay, walk to dining. Oh, I left without even. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, let's check the dining room now. <laughs> There's great great grandma Prue. Well, well, great 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 great. Okay, I don't I don't remember how many grades exactly. Maybe she looks so pissed because no one can ever remember, or maybe because she has no teeth. Burton Garrett, wife of Silas Garrett. Hey, now that's quite a while ago. This is. Gandalf the Grey. Gus named the plant that when he first read Lord of the Rings. Because it always seems like Gandalf's died. But he always keeps on going. Just like this ficus. <laughs> Actually, it looks like one of the plants I've had a few times. And yes, indeed, the leaves might end up all the way down here, hanging. And then you give it a little water and it just uh, grows back to normal. According to Greek myth, the sunflower was originally a woman who watched the sun god day in and day out until she turned into a flower. <sighs> well, whoever she is, she's losing her petals. When I have my own dishes, they'll be pale white and always washed and put away. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how rich you have to be to eat off your porcelain instead of just putting it in a glass cabinet. No one really eats in here now. We mostly just take our plates into the living room and watch game shows. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Not the happiest picture, that's for sure. Mm. Gus needs new shoes every few months, it seems like. His feet are growing faster than dandelions. <laughs> I like the lighting in here. It always makes my eyes look bright. Like I know something that no one else does. Sometimes Merle catches me staring in the mirror and makes fun of me. The cool little sister stuff. Hmm. That's Gus's backpack. Argus Robert Garrett. When he was really little, we used to tell him he was adopted. That he'd been found on an abandoned pirate ship and that the pirate king and queen would come back for him someday. His initials were the clue they'd left. Funny. He's the least pirate-like out of all of us. <laughs> I told Merle not to eat her snack outside the kitchen. She always gets it everywhere. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Bad owl, was that what it said? Great blue. Great blue heron. Scientific name, Ardea Herodias. You know what's strange? Herodias was the wife of Herod, mother of Salome, the one who asked for John the Baptist's head on a platter. Why do people always link birds and strange women? <laughs> okay. And that's where we come from in this kitchen. One well, office, and that's the bluebird she was talking about. Oh. And a chunk restaurant. Oh, and we can't go to the bathroom. Okay. When I won the Jefferson Book Award last year, UVA gave me the quotable Jefferson. It's like a magic eight ball, but with Thomas Jefferson. Open it up to a random page, and instead of outlook good or not likely, you get our liberty can never be safe but in the hands of the people themselves. Nifty, right? <laughs> National Geographic Atlas of the World, Streetwise Rome, Atlas of Cursed Places. I don't know where she got them, but Mom collected all these map books, mostly of places she never visited. Sounds like someone was dreaming about traveling. Hmm, looks like someone was watching The Avengers 8. Condiment Man versus Squirrel Girl. I guess they figured anybody could get a movie after Ant Man. <laughs> I did like Ant Man actually. Not the best one, but uh, it was enjoyable. The blue mug is left over from a trip to Colonial Williamsburg. Dad bought it from one of the gift shops. We used to go every year until Gus threw up on the shoes of a poor guy. Dressed up as an 18th century candle maker. Mom's best friend found that chair for $10 at a garage sale in Norfolk and drove it all the way here for her 38th birthday. That's how Sasha is. Real loyal, real obstinate. <laughs> okay, so Sasha is the mom's best friend. One that we get to meet her. Hey, Dad. Oh, Lena. I didn't realize you'd come in here. What's going on? How was work today? It went fine. The students are still out on Christmas break, so it was just me this morning, entering migration data. We've had 50 of our tagged swans return so far. That's unusual. Far fewer than normal. They look so beautiful out there in the bay. But sad. Like they're waiting for something. Yes, I've always thought that. That's why I prefer to track the swan population, and nothing like black-headed gulls or Harris's sparrows. But I'm sure you didn't want to talk to me about sparrows. You should be home on a Saturday. With us. It's not my responsibility to be watching Merlin Goss. Pardon. <laughs> It isn't your responsibility. It is now, whether you see it that way or not. Lena, I know you mean well, but please understand. This year has been so hard. I'm trying to deal with it the best that I can. Do you see that? All right. Actually, forgot this is a choices meta in this game, so. Maybe I should pay a little bit more attention to what I'm choosing. Um... Yes, but we're all searching for the thing that helps us through. Not just you. I know. And I know I've let you all down in some important ways. But this is a new year, and I can try to do better. Do you know where the WD-40 is? WD-40? Why? The gate's stuck. It's been sticking for a while, but someone must have slammed it and gotten it jammed. Oh, I hadn't noticed. 
Uh, you could check the kitchen. It might be in there. Or in the hall closet upstairs. Although it wouldn't surprise me if Gus had it in his room for one of his experiments. Ah, good places to start the search. Thanks, Dad. You know what today is? January 1st. A Saturday. Yes, I know what it is. Do you think she'll come back? If she were coming back, she'd have done it by now. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be harsh. I know you all don't necessarily think that way. She's gone, Lena, and she isn't coming back. I'm not just giving up on her. I don't want to be a killjoy, dear. I really don't. But it's going to save you so much grief if you forget about it. It's not giving up. How could I possibly forget about this? Please, just listen to me. We've lost her. She's never coming back. This is not pessimism. It's looking at the facts. Are there facts you know that the rest of us don't? I won't lie to you, yes, but you would never believe me. You can't know that until you tell me. No. They ran an article in the paper about it. Did you see it? Oh, no. I, I don't really read the paper so much anymore. Why don't you just recycle it? Your siblings don't need to see that. If... That's what you want. Thank you. That's good of you. Why don't you read the newspaper anymore? If a newspaper referenced you in such unflattering ways, would you read it? I... I guess not. I told myself I wasn't going to read anything else after the first three articles that implied I was a cold-hearted wife-killer came out. And I haven't. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Oh, oh, before you go, have you seen my phone? I think I have lost it yesterday. Isn't your spare office key still missing, too? Yes, it is, but... Wait, are you trying to say that I misplace things easily? That's exactly what I'm saying. Ah, well, you may have a point. Okay, so we can check the window, we already checked them, we can check that, so into the office. It's locked for a reason, Lena. That's my space. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can find his key at some point. Uh, Walk to kitchen. They already checked in here, so I guess we can't find the... that's what we checked we before. Have Newspaper, cereal, open. Yes. Mm, yeah. Go back out. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. WD forty. There it is. What's underneath the WD forty? Mm, okay. This is Dan. I didn't know Dad kept a journal. Maybe there are more parts lying around. Do this. Oh, I can. I was trying to figure out if I could read it. Huh. Okay, October 17th. Jack had a housewarming party tonight. 
He and Sarah just moved into their own place after they had the third baby, a girl, Jayla, Sharon, Charlene, which is, I suppose, something to celebrate. Before that, they'd been living with Jack's parents. I went, even though I wasn't in the mood to see Jack and Billy and Macon and Lee and their wives. Sarah made us ribs and those were delicious, but the skin under her eyes were, was purple. Make, mm, Macon? Macon? How do you say that? Macon and Crystal were barely talking at dinner. They fought again. It was obvious. Probably about Macon's inability to hold down a job. I don't know why they don't just get divorced. Lee drank too much beer and Diane smelled like smoke. I left feeling depressed but also relieved, like I'd saved myself from something. It's strange, being the only one from the old group who isn't attached in some way. Jack and Sarah and Macon and Crystal both dated the whole time we went to William, Howie, Annie. They got married a few years after. Billy met Claire at Tidewater Community. Lee married Gracie at first, but they got divorced three years later, and now he's dating Diane, one of the waitresses in town. I never dated anyone in high school. A few people in college, sure, but I didn't want to marry any of them. For all my friends from tech, it's normal enough to have two kids by the time you're 25. But Jack's always asking me if I want him to set me up with one of Sarah's cousins. I don't think he understands why I always say no. <clears throat> I'm 31, not old enough that I have to be married, right? Besides, I prefer my work. I'm on an important assignment right now. October 25th. I've been very busy, but I'd wanted to write more about that assignment I mentioned, so here it is. I've been doing contaminated water assessment these past few weeks. <clears throat> the state government negotiated a contract with Envio Corp in order to investigate the state of the bay. I have to say, my team's preliminary findings don't look good, especially to me, an Avid's Landing native. This summer, low concentrations of oxygen in the water caused one of the last just fish kills in the bay. The outdoor booms in the water cause die-offs on a scale that's already affecting the economy here. Macron told me that the price he can get for his fish is higher, but the fish are so scarce it doesn't matter. He's still making less than he was last year. Because of that, my intention has turned to perch, flounder and bass populations. I'd rather be studying fish, birds than fish, but working for an biocorp means I get to stay in Avid's Landing. I'm making more than I ever dreamed of as a boy, so I shouldn't complain. <clears throat> Especially when I go out to have a few drinks with Macron and he's worried about paying for his tab. Hmm. Okay. I wonder how that is going to be relevant for the story. We've actually had problems uh, with fish dying off in a con Bay in the mug at one point several years ago, anyway. Okay, master bedroom in a wireless room. Yeah, nice room. It's also very pink, but it suits her. <laughs> Real girly girl. Well, not completely, it looks like. Mm. I'd almost forgotten about Fräulein. Dad said Merle could have a new doll if she played this educational computer game that was supposed to teach German. I think the only words she remembers are Schwimmbecken and Schwester. And Fräulein, of course. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure what Schwimmbecken means. Uh, something with swimming, of course. And... Schwester, that's sister. Uh, and then, of course, Fräulein is like Miss. When did she start wearing this? I didn't take her to get it. Dad would rather lie on a bed of nails than take Merle bra shopping. I guess one of her friend's moms must have. Huh. 